Here's something else I found in the cupboard under my stairs, which I took along to children's parties when I first began, sometime in the early 70s. I took along simple percussion instruments, which were a little bit unusual, so the kids would enjoy seeing something they hadn't seen before. This is a twirl drum. Do you know them? Not that common, but uh, common enough. They think of it as a drum like this or like that, but no, it's something you twirl, or like that, or children would do it between the two, two hands. Here's a rather louder version, which I also took along in Japan. That's very loud. So those were tremendous fun for small children, and I had simple stuff in those days. So that sort of thing, well, one in each hand, was a bit of fun. And another one I took along in the very earliest days, and this came from the same bag under the stairs, was this castanets. Now castanets normally, and I've got a set somewhere, you have to hold them in a very special way in the hand, and that's too hard for children to learn to do. But this one's got a friendly handle in the middle of it. All you do is like that. And that's all you've got to do. You then pretend you're Spanish dancing or something. So those are some of the earliest things which I took along when I first began entertaining children at parties. For me, it's a nice trip down nostalgic alley. Oh well. Here's something else that emerged, which I've never taken to parties because it's a bit too delicate, to be honest. It's a lovely little figure there. It's, um, it would have been made originally from ivory, probably, but it's made of plastic to make it age look like ivory. And there's a little runner pulling along a princess in a carriage, complete with an umbrella. And the wheels do turn, which is nice, but it's pretty delicate, unfortunately. And there were simply, I didn't want to risk getting it damaged by small children with their hands going like that. It was not... Occasionally I do an adult party, which I might have taken it along to, but um, mostly for children, that's too delicate. But something that appealed to me at the time, so I've had it there a long, long time. Here's a lovely little creature I've forgotten about. Pop-up Christmas hamper. You send this to someone in a envelope like this, they take it out, and it pops up. Well, it didn't pop up when I took it out because all the elastic bands are broken, but I've now replaced them, so that's what you get. Look at this. Merry Christmas, hamper, throw it up in the air and, oh, that's very satisfying. Open it up like that. Yes, it's empty, it's no, no, nothing at the bottom, so never mind. But that's a very nice way of collapsing too. Lift it up with the one elastic band and squeeze it like that. And it makes a nice flat thing there, which goes back into an envelope. Very simple, very neat, and very Christmassy, I think. And the last item is some um, blow sticks, which I bought in 1984, would you believe? These things here. I don't think you would have seen these because they only had a short marketing. A company called Decker and Leeds were selling them. I bought 500 of these. Well, they're only 17 pence each, you know. They blow up in a nice, large, long stick. I'll have a go at blowing it up and then I can show you the rest of it. And what's nice about it is it's got a non-return valve about it, which is important for children when they're blowing things up. They find it won't immediately collapse when, it's, when they stop doing it. Let me just show you blow, me blowing it up, or attempting to blow it up a bit with my adapted thing. There we are. That's all right. The ones I blew up yesterday afternoon are still absolutely firm, which means even after about 30 years, the plastic, the, the seal here is, is firm. It's held up very, very well indeed. I'm very pleased. So well done, Decker, for coming up with a good version of a, I think originally an American toy. That's almost one end done, and the other one's in it nearly, 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 nearly. Yeah, that's probably enough. We'll take out the rest of it as well. And then you seal it there. There's no air coming out. It can't come out. You have to squeeze it in order to deflate it. Push it in like that, Oops, there's there. and push it in, and then it can join its babies. So that's just one of them, and you notice it's got a ring on the end and a ring on the end. And the reason is, well, here's another one I've tried yesterday. You could now put two together. You simply got to uh, push the ring through there. Well, a child can do that. There we are. It just fits exactly. And I've got another one here, which I did yesterday. Again, it's astonishing how rigid it is after 24 hours, nearly. Extraordinary. So I can make a triangle now. And then I'll show you what they're suggesting that you can do with it. It's very easy just to push that bit through there to the point where the ring's got beyond it and it holds it together, not too firmly, but firmly enough. And then either ring can go into either, either ring. It doesn't really matter. It's, you've got a, a choice there. And that's a triangle, isn't it? which is part of the construction they are showing there. That's a good sized triangle, isn't it? Wow. 
Well, let me show you what they're suggesting you can do with it. This is the brochure that Decker produced at the time. Look at all those things. I love the one at the bottom of a small boy making himself the corner of a boxing ring. That's very nice. And then the little boats and things, and they added uh, flags and waves and, and sails and things. So lots and lots of fun for children. And I somehow got a, well, I still got children, 50 of these actually, sitting in the back of my cupboard under the stairs, which I've got to find a home for. So let's see what we can do with it. But it's a very nice, simple constructional toy, and very child friendly. I'm slightly surprised, perhaps it was the marketing, they didn't market it well enough, that it hasn't taken off because it's so durable and so clever. Do you like it? Thank <laughs> you.